Okay, we are going to have some more fun with my new invention. This time I have the new um, QWERTY chord, which is written in Visual Basic, and I'll let you look at this real quick. This is what the interface looks like. You'll see what I'm going to be doing. There's not much to it. It just looks like a keyboard. Um, I can't see what I'm doing here. Okay, here we go. Uh, so as you can see, let's see here, um, I don't think these things do anything. No, they don't. Okay, so you see that R, that means root, this 3 means a third, 5 means a fifth, major 7, major 9, like that, okay? Then on the left side, you select the chord, so it's B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Okay, so all along this side are, are the, um, I had an accent for a second there, like I was, Russian or something. All on this side is um, the chords selection on this, the left hand. Now it sounds German. And on the right side here, I have the notes to play that are the um, right hand. Okay. <laughs> so this is kind of sorry to bore you, but I'm gonna get right dig right into it here. And I'm gonna put the thing in my mouth and play a little bit. Okay. All right. Now this is going to sound a little different than when I was playing the, the other video, if you watch the other one, because it's a totally different approach, okay? Uh, the, the, the space bar is the, is the damper. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, now it's not working. What's going on here? Oh, I've got to learn here. Okay. <sighs> Frustrating. All right. Now I want to go like that. All right. It's taking way too long here. <laughs> I'll get to it eventually, folks. All right. Oh, I'm trying to do it something possible. All right, here we go. Try to get a good view of the... So that's a damper. I hit the damper key right there. If I hit the damper key, then it mutes the note. That's the damper. I don't know if I like this, but it's very good for beginners. Because uh, you don't have to think at all about anything. It's just uh, it's so easy. So easy to play here. I'll just do the right side demonstration here. Or you just reach up to here. That's a seven. It's an octave up there. The pinky and the index finger is an octave. That's a seven. And as you can see, it just plays that it keeps ringing out. But when I change chords, it will stop ringing out and I'll start a new chord. Watch. Now if I try to play some, I'll just play blues and E. Here, here. Uh, E is here. That's E. I look down. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here, uh, but anyway, uh, I had someone say that the synthesizer sound wasn't that good, uh, and I've got something that's really good actually, um, so hopefully it sounds better this time, but as you can see though, the, it, it, it may enable you to do some wild stuff here, watch this, okay, uh, well, here we go, I'm not going to worry. <laughs> Oh, okay, and there's other 
quarters I can play is diminished, I believe. Not like a minor. It's not. And then there's that, uh, oh, that's an augmented. I think that's augmented. That's diminished. But you can do some crazy stuff here. <laughs> like in the movies, you know? Let's uh, see here. I could do some serious stuff if I just practiced a little bit. Uh, this would be more for beginners, uh, uh, this configuration. Um, but I plan to do a little bit more just to show you the synthesizer I'm using, so in case you're wondering, you know, if this is just a cheesy synthesizer. Um, uh, that is not the case, as you can see. I can't quite. Uh, get this under visual here, but it's a core player. Um, it's a very nice uh, top of the line um, $500 system that I got for free. <laughs> uh, it just has limited capability though. But um, it, it doesn't have much sounds I can use, but what sounds that I do have sound really good. And this piano is a, the dub plate piano effect. So this is, it's not the sound quality, poor sound quality is not because of the. Uh, uh, not because of the, the synthesizers, because of just the sound, the recording of this is not very good. Well, I don't know what else to show you. There's not much else to it. You know, you just sit here and play away. Um, let me see if I can do something a little bit more serious, but maybe I'll do that in another video or something. But So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm still working on it, getting it where you can select the right MIDI channel and I don't know if this is going to be the final thing. There's something that was a little bit more elaborate than this that I was working on uh, because I was bored with this. It's like I'm not a beginner player, you know, so it's like I want to do something I'm interested in. And this is great if you're a beginner player, but what kind of beginner player would have all this expensive... I mean, okay, let me show you the stuff I've got. Um, this is a external external sound module for it. I don't know why it's looking like that. There's a lot of reflection, I guess, but that's an external sound module. Cost about cost me about $150, $200 for this. Um, so that's kind of expensive equipment, and, but this allows you to run uh, in, microphone inputs and um, it, on the other side it has MIDI input and, out, and audio output and it, what it does is it just basically makes a professional audio sound and it takes away all the delay from the sound of the recording so that's one thing that you got to have and then the other thing is that you got to um, well that would be it other than that or unless you had an external synthesizer then you just need a, an interface to the synthesizer which would only cost like 25 bucks so that's probably the cheapest way to do it if you already have a, a like a, a digital piano you know, like one of those store-bought ones, sixty-dollar ones, you could probably get anything that's got a MIDI input. You could use that along with it. If you just want to use it just to learn how to play, um, you could do that. Just use an external MIDI um, thing. If you have any questions about, it, let me know. And you know, I'd be glad to give you this software, but I just can't guarantee I can support it. You, you have to understand that this is um, not written in. Uh, it's not a professional um, studio. Um, what do you call it? professional software uh, program that development program that I'm using it's one for kind of people that are just learning and stuff so it's kind of like running a uh, it's kind of like running a script or something you know and you have to have the interpreter it's kind of hard to explain I can't even explain it but it's you just need visual basic dot net which you may already have you know but this is the dot net four so um, I'd have to show you how to do that maybe I'll do that in another video Okay, thanks for watching.